Hello and welcome Desert Mountain members to another edition of the Desert Mountain Podcast. My name is Michael Craven here today with Kim Atkinson. Hello, Kim. Hello, Michael. How are you? Doing great, thank you. Hello, members. <laughs> we're we're kind of lounging today. We. I feel so relaxed out here by the pool. Out by the pool, beautiful day, sunshine, a little bit of a breeze. Uh, it doesn't get much better. It doesn't get much better to be poolside with none other than our very own Arnaldo Cucuza, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Arnaldo. Hello, hello, hello everyone, and uh, good afternoon, members, and Michael and Kim. Thank, thank you. you. For, thank you for coming today. My pleasure. It's Wellness Week this week, so we thought, why not do a great big splash, pun intended, on all the healthy things that we have to offer our members. I feel healthier just talking to you. <laughs> really? I do. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I need to actually do some of the things that you t- talk about. Um, And I know so many of our members do, which is fantastic. Um, So thank you for spending time with us today talking about wellness. And we'll do some features. We'll obviously have this podcast. We'll do a little Friday jam, a healthy edition. It's very good. Well, thank you. My pleasure. So, Arnaldo, you came to the States a few years ago, but you are no stranger to the club business. I am not. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Kim, um, I've been working in ca- country club all my life. Goodness. All my life. And uh, I started at the front desk and then I was um, uh, studying and learning and going around the world to um, understand how to grow in club industry. It was not my intentional move from the beginning, but long story short, I found myself uh, after 24 years at Golf Club Milano. I was the general manager when I was invited to move to the United States six years ago. Okay. Six years. Six years. And that first move into the U.S. was to where? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Hmm. Weird. (laughs) That sounds familiar. There's a few Charlotte people around here, I think. It's a trend. It seems to be. So you met somebody special in Charlotte. Okay. And tell the story. Uh, So I met Mr. Diorio our amazing CEO and leader here, Desert Mountain, uh, 10 years ago in conferences of club managers. We worked together to take to Europe the educational pathway that mm-hmm. already exists here in the United States. And uh, when we were done with education for managers, he was the chairman of the Club Manager Association of America, while I was the chairman of the much smaller organization in Europe. And uh, Mr. Diorio invited me to consider to join his team in Charlotte. Okay. And so from there, Mr. Diorio ends up at Desert Mountain. Yeah. And and you uh, answered the call to take on the Sonoran Clubhouse. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Diorio knows me very well. And he knows that, yes, I'm an expert in club management. At the same time, uh, I'm uh, an expert avid, uh, healthy person, thanks most to my wife, which is a nutritionist and our attraction for any kind of sport. Uh, By the way, I joined country clubs because I thought that was the only way to be a professional in sport without being a champion. I tried in any way, but (laughs) so I said, okay, I will stay in the club industry and... um, I mean, I love running, I love being active, uh, and so swimming, uh, I have a background of water polo. So Mr. Diorio said, probably uh, the position of director of athletics is a great position for you, and I'm here. That is fantastic. (laughs) That makes great sense. So yes, you're around it, you're immersed in athletics, and immersed in healthy habits, and inspiring our members uh, to be healthy as well. I don't know if I inspire them, but we have a great conversation about, yeah. And our members often inspire us. Yes, they do. They do. Um, I'm so impressed by, um, first of all, uh, I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by great leaders. And we had uh, the opportunity last year to review our strategic plan. And when I realized that, fitness, wellness, family, um, 
well-being in general was uh, in our strategic plan in the building block number three. Number three, right after golf and food and beverage, I was honored and uh, I was very excited because I realized how everyone at Desert Mountain in our leadership team, uh, it is um, very... Uh, it, it has the perception of how important is the Sonoran Athletic Clubhouse for our members, for our club. And uh, I talk with our members, and, and I'm impressed every day by the level of knowledge that they have and uh, why they do fitness and the uh, social part of staying here before or after fitness, as well as uh, we have a very knowledgeable members with a background of uh, sport at college level. Mm -hmm. They know what they do when they train. I can tell, I can see. So I have uh, this uh, small conversation in the morning with all of them. And it is related to equipment, it is related to trainers, it is related to nutrition, what we do, which kind of uh, activities they are preparing for. And it is amazing. It is amazing. That's so fun. I think we got our guy, Kim. We got the right guy <laughs> in the job. I think we do. Exactly. <laughs> so um, in looking at our strategic plan, the process that we've mm. all been a part of, of in, in refining that and establishing our goals, um, you know, the Sonoran Clubhouse is, is our hub for wellness. And it's just the beginning. Looking at all the activities that we have to offer, certainly you could visit the member website or read the Mountain Minute and get a sense of all the different things we have to offer. But when you look forward and your vision that you um, have established with our senior team for the Sonoran being a, a, a hub of wellness, what does that look like for you in the next few years? Um, it, it, is a, it is a great question, Kim. Uh, we have uh, in uh, in the usage of the Sonoran uh, different kind of, as I said before, members using the club, and uh, we see a higher usage day after day, week after week, and uh, the well-being, wellness, which is encapsulating the entire life of a member in terms of quality. It is what we are looking at. We are looking at, uh, of course, uh, fitness, of course, the spa, of course, swimming and hiking and horseback riding, um, mental well-being. And all of this in the next three, five years needs to be um, covered, encapsulated again uh, in um, food and beverage as well, nutrition. We are studying uh, plant-based food, the next steps, uh, along with um, the food and beverage team, um, my colleague and friend, director of operation, Greg Leonard, and uh, Kathy Wyckoff. We are thinking about what to offer in terms of uh, plant-based uh, members that want to eat without um, animal protein or uh, beverages or use uh, water without plastic. Or yeah, what, are, uh, what are these? You, what, what yeah, did you, you bring brought us? some props for us. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, a very minimal impact for the planet, and uh, it is uh, spring water. So it's a very high quality water. water okay. Contain minerals, natural source of minerals coming from the Rocky Mountain. Okay, and is reusable. So for every hike, we give the members with this bottle of water instead of uh, a plastic oh. of bottle. So for those of you just listening uh, and not watching on YouTube, yeah, Arnaldo has brought us some uh, really nice looking bottles of water here. Uh, Got the aluminum, the proud source spring water. Yeah. That's very nice. So trying to get away from the, from the plastic products. That's right. And yeah. the, we're, we're actually pursuing a, a plastic free um, Sonoran. Yeah. Yeah. We are, uh, we just installed in our lockers uh, the filtered water fountain. So now we have uh, we are able to offer the filtered water at the pickleball courts, 
by the fitness floor uh, just outside our studios and now in the lockers. So we are inviting our members to bring their own bottles. Right. And uh, and uh, we are really phasing out every plastic usage at the Sonoran. So these machines are the ones where you can have your own big bottle, reusable exactly. bottle, and it fits under the the spout. Yeah. And it'll and it's just filtered and it is filtered. It it is cold, fresh. So very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. All right. So we have more options for our members to have. Uh, bottled water with their own bottles yeah. and so that we have the opportunity to help make a, a positive impact on our planet without all the plastic. Exactly, That's yeah. Great. What else do you have there on your own? Um, Waldo? I have, uh, well, we offer packages for outdoor activities and we are educating our teammates as well. Uh, the traditional beverages that we find with the uh, Normally with multicolors, mm-hmm. beverages that we know we don't want to advertise anything because we know that we have a lot of audience <laughs> and a big, very big membership. Uh, anyway, we are providing uh, these little sleeves of salt, mainly salt with magnesium and sodium uh, that will recharge us after Activities like endurance, running, bicycle, or even golf. Or uh, after a long meeting. Or after a long <laughs> meeting, okay. yes. So, yes, yeah, so I'm seeing words like recharge, ele- electrolyte, drink mix, a thousand milligrams of sodium, potassium, magnesium. Yeah. That's awesome. It is. It so, is. you're providing these out on the trails? Yes, we do. When you host your hikes? Yeah. That yeah, we do. That is awesome. And what is uh, really impactful is that in a regular a uh, beverage that we find in grocery stores or mm-hmm. everywhere, we have something like 30,000 milligrams of sugar, 29,000 to be correct. Oh and here we have no sugar. We have oh, only what we need. Oh, much better. So, and uh, a lot of minerals more. So it's great. we Very are nice. focusing on uh, nutrition and uh, well-being. And, um, Can I try one of these? Yes, please. I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna try the water. I'm gonna give you a, a real time review. Oh, good. Let you know how. Delicious what about it is. the salt? <laughs> All right. Well, while you do that, it looks like Arnaldo gave us some reading uh, some reading assignments too. He's brought yes. some books for us. Yes, I did. So tell us a little bit about some of these and why you brought them. Okay, my um, my uh, mm-hmm. passion. Uh, and outside the club, outside work is uh, running and reading. And uh, I share with my teammates here at Sonoran uh, some books. I don't know if they like it or not, <laughs> but I try. I try hard. By the way, we uh, a few months ago, we created a, an exchange of books. Oh. By the exit of the Sonora, oh, there is idea. like a, a library for the members That's to exchange, so nice. just in case you want to come and have a look. Um, every book to me means something, and I have a principle behind. For example, this one, Multipliers, is about uh, people that turn on or off bulbs when enter the room. So for us, having a large groups of uh, amazing individuals. We have at Desert Mountain around 800 employees. Uh, we need to be very careful not to turn off bulbs when we speak, when we lead uh, meetings. And this reminds me about listening more than speaking, for example. That's a good one. This one, Herding Tigers, is about mainly about creativity. So communication and marketing and everything. However, it's good for every group of people and taught me about creating my own uh, leadership style card. So every teammate that joins the Sonoran receives this card and understand immediately what I like, what I like a little less, <laughs> so that they need to make only one effort, understanding my accent, but the philosophy of my leadership, it is easy to understand with that card. Very nice. And I have more... Uh, related to food and beverage service. This is related to um, a very successful restaurant, grocery, coffee shop in uh, uh, Michigan 
by the Michigan University okay. and Arbor. Yep. So they created a very successful uh, business at Zingerman's and they didn't move even if they had offered to go everywhere. And this reminds me of our hub, our culture here at Desert Mountain in Arizona. We want to be ourselves and we want to grow our, um, yes, our brand. What's what? the title of this one? Being a Better Leader. Being a Better Leader. Yeah, under sig- it's a s- yeah it's a series of four books. Okay. This is about leader, but it's a lapsed anarchist approach to Got leadership it. and basically food and beverage and uh, um, awesome. managing people. Uh, mm-hmm. There is a lot uh, in books that I find very useful for us, but mainly is, is this one, okay. running, running, which is my passion. And this is a great story about, by the way, Rich Roll is big in podcast. Okay. He's one of uh, the best. Rich Roll, if you're listening, shout out. Hello. Exactly, hello. yes. Toots. <laughs> exactly. And this gentleman turned uh, from a lawyer in one of the most successful ultra ultra runners. Wow. And this book um, is called Finding Ultra is the name of this one. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, it is about a concept that I, I have it very dear now at my age is never too late if you want to run the new york marathon if you want to run 50 miles if you want to swim uh, 10k uh, we can always do that with making the goal to do it so these are the conversations that i have with our members here and i find them very very prepared about everything that we discuss very knowledgeable membership yes, here at yes. desert mountain definitely <coughs> michael how's the water i haven't tried it yet i'm gonna oh. do it in real time okay and th- what it, did we say what this is? This is a... Uh, a watermelon, I think. Yeah, watermelon salt. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's pretty good. Mm. It is. You can take... I mean, it's a little salty. But it has the word salt in the title. Right. So one might... Might uh, inf- infer... That there's salt there. It's good, though. It's got some... It's kind of sweet. Yeah. Sweet and salty at the same time. Yeah. Without the sugar, though. That's Without amazing. Yeah. I love that. Zero sugar what? and 1,000 milligrams of sodium, See, 200 these are the potassium. Things you can't really read about these things in the Mountain Minute. You just have to experience them, yeah. try it out, and you're out on an out, outdoor excursion with, with our outdoor team. And this is you, and want the, you want the sodium while you're on one of those excursions, right? Like you yes. want to be intaking it. Yes. You're sweating out. Yeah. Because we lose that. Yeah. Interesting. Very okay. good. Very good. I approve. All right. So the the spa uh, is growing and booming. Lots of new services there with Carrie Printy. Yes. Um, the courts, we had a little bit of racket sports last week on the Friday Jam. So those are popping with pickle and tennis. Yes. Yeah, we have a, a great director of tennis uh, with a great experience and knowledge in um, organizing event yep. like ryan johnson and carrie printy at the spa she's doing an amazing job fantastic as well. and then on the fitness floor and all of our live well and prosper classes yes. you've got jim franklin holding down the floor yes jim jim is doing a, a great job uh, in two ways this year uh organizing uh these events where we have uh, speakers that at the same time deliver the experience like for example uh, four weeks ago we had uh, a speaker uh, about uh, meditation and it was half an hour explanation of concept of meditation for those that are not familiar with it and then half an hour of meditation it's harder than it sounds to learn how to meditate so i imagine that there are there was a lot of uh, very happy members to participate in that i agree I yeah. agree. And Jim is planning with Lisa, one of our t- trainers, instructor, for example, floating meditation in the pool. We remove the, the lanes, dividers, and we have uh, members being on these floaters and meditating with the sound of gongs. Wow. Five or six o'clock at night. Oh, it beautiful. is It is amazing. And well, we have a couple of Sorry. Well, I was just going to say, I, I thought maybe we should capture that on video, but we might get in the way of the actual meditation. Exactly. So maybe not. It's yeah, a, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's personal. It's pretty thing. personal yeah. and yeah. quiet. Yeah. The last thing they want is Kim and Mike and Pat snooping around with the camera. I, just, I could get on the roof with a, with a real strong zoom lens. They would never know. Well, 
Oh uh, yeah, Get, uh, talking about the roof, <laughs> we took a few pictures uh, on March 9th. Uh, Jake and Teresa, Outdoor Adventures, they invited one gentleman from uh, Tucson, Arizona, which is delivering this service of the largest telescope in the United States, movable telescope. Oh so gosh. he came on the court number three and we had uh, 107 members looking at screen where all the galaxies, stars were projected. And uh, Benjamin is the name of this gentleman who was uh, talking about any specific star. So we were taking picture from the roof and yeah. was, uh, yeah, we, we received uh, a lot of good comments. We are coming back because uh, among the comments, we received requests to do that again. We are going to do that again uh, end of April. And so we are um, mixing uh, most of uh, the activities that start from the mind to the body because at the end of the day, fitness is a state of a moment, which is being fit is something related to the body. Uh, well-being and wellness is related to everything that, everything that we do. And uh, we are pretty sure that that evening that we offered on March 9th was was great for the members. So great for the mind. The beginning of something really special with those with those stargazing mm -hmm. opportunities. Well, they're amazing. They've been doing a great job. I know we started glamping last weekend. That's oh, starting yeah. to take off. That's our own in-house managed opportunity, uh, but also bringing in a outside. Um, cook yeah. to do the Barb, do, do, our cowboy girl our, our cook ca our cowboy cook fireside yeah. uh cuisine yeah so that's been working out great um very busy right now with all the kids um doing spring break camps with your youth yeah. department yeah and then we'll also um with haven and team on the activities yeah it's yeah uh, i feel like every I'm, I'm so fortunate and First of all, because the membership at Desert Mountain, after 30 plus years in country clubs, uh, I have to say that the membership at Desert Mountain is so unbelievable. And um, and I'm not saying that because I'm here, I'm not requested to say that. It's, it's amazing to interact with our members. At the same time, when I come to work, I feel so energized and happy to handle like these um, five or six Kites. There are my department teammates that go to from bocce to horseback riding, from the spa, um, need of another massage therapist, from the pool heater is cold, is hot. So we have so many things going on here at our athletic club at Desert Mountain that every morning is something so special, energizing. And uh, yes, you're right. We have bocce, we have um, croquet, uh, the kids' activity with the addition of Emily with Teal is really going great. And glamping, we had, we plan to have uh, several nights mm -hmm. till the beginning of May. And from now to May, offering uh, five tents every night. And for the next 15, uh, days that nights that we are offering we have only three tents available oh wow. goodness so this is a message if someone is They're still listening. thinking about that only three tents available for the entire season and goodness. then we are done yeah that is fantastic anybody who hasn't been up there and especially for some of the newer members who haven't had an opportunity to do it it really is special it's uh the uh tents are you know we talked we talked about it with uh with Teresa and I mean, it's glamping. It's glamorous camping. I mean, it's almost like having a little apartment up there. But you are—you're under the stars. You're out in the middle of, yeah, in the, yeah, in the middle of the, the ranch. It's it's really special. Yeah, very good. All right, so let's see. We had a couple of folks. I wanted to to do a quick shout out before we wrap up because um, your fitness team is amazing. You have some awesome instructors, some awesome trainers, but you have a couple of new folks yeah. who just joined the team that we wanted to talk yeah. about. Uh, first of all, for our teammates that listen to the podcast or will watch the podcast, 
we care about everyone. And when we take a decision about expanding a department, hiring new people, we really consider which kind of impact we are going to have uh, in terms of um, their um, living. Because at the end of the day, the magic thing of the Sonoran is that most of the employees are have at least have the background of self-contractor. It can be a massage therapist, it can be a f- trainer, uh, it can be a tennis pro, everyone leave or commission. So we have uh, uh, that um, job to do with them in order, in order to include them and to make them feel that we think about that. However, we felt with Jim that we needed to expand our services Uh, for training and uh, we hired a couple of months ago Randy and Rob. Both of them are very special for their background, for their skills and they are having an impact on all our members and due to the fact that they are such a big demand we are thinking to create classes for them to be able to touch five or six members together instead of having those in line. That's too. a great idea. So, yeah, we, we, we've been analyzing the, the demand and um, even the demographic, gender, everything that we, we analyzed with Jim told us that especially, um, yeah, that there was a cluster, a big cluster of members that needed something special for mm-hmm. training. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are pretty confident that we are providing that. You know, the story I always like to tell about the training at the Sonoran um, is the connection between the golf instructors for our golfers who are able to go into the performance center, get some lessons, figure out what, what's going on with that swing, and then have that, have that trainer work directly with uh, somebody here at the Sonoran to, to build something out, to get more um, skills. Yeah. That's just awesome. It is. It is awesome because, yeah, the the story and the background and the philosophy of Desert Mountain is to be a golf club starting with. So having seven golf courses and all the members that mainly join the club for golf, I can tell on the fitness floor for the training that, most of our members do is dedicated to golf. So that connection, Kim, you're exactly right. The connection with the performance center is amazing. And it's kind of the beginning of the whole person that you started this podcast with, that at the Sonoran Clubhouse, we treat and work with our members from the inside out. And so having that holistic approach with the golf connection to the Sonoran, yeah, it's pretty special. It is, it is. Well, it is. I tell you what. This has been a special afternoon. I don't want to leave. I think we should just hang out. Oh, yeah. Or swim or okay. doing something. Or okay. play pickleball. Or maybe get the Mountain Minute out. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes, we need to do that. Okay, we'll get the Time Mountain to do Minute that. out. We have to do that. Arnaldo, thank you so much. My pleasure. What a My wonderful pleasure. time, Michael. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much, Arnaldo. We can't thank you enough for joining us. And My pleasure. Yeah. My takeaway is just we're all it, it's just always striving for bigger and better. It's never being satisfied with as is. You're, we're always trying to come up with new ideas, new events, new ways to keep people engaged. And I know our members appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, I, I would like to finish with this. Mr. Diorio wants us to go benchmarking uh, the best place in the country. And I've been benchmarking what I consider the best athletic club in the country last summer. And when I came back, I said, wow, we really have the best athletic club in the country. And uh, the Sonora would, could be just the best athletic club everywhere. So we want to work hard to strive for excellence and to provide everything, anything we can for our members. Thank you. That is absolutely true. Well said. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we end uh, all of our podcasts with uh, our, our great shots heard around the mountain. So let's kick it over to Patrick McKenzie, who is not here with us, but he's back in the studio. All right, Patrick, let's Patrick, hear about the shots. Let's hear about them. Thank you, Mike, Kim, and Arnaldo. It's been another busy week on the mountain, so let's get started. Vicki Pitzer on March 18th, had herself an eagle on number nine at Apache. 
Roger Cassidy, another name we've heard before, an eagle on number seven, Renegade. Dave Robertson had himself an eagle on March 18th on number six, Apache. Scott Edwards, March 19th, an eagle on number one, Geronimo. Eagles all around, seems like. Nick Taylor, Saturday, March 19th, a hole-in-one on number seven, Cochise. And to round things out this week, Ellison Kiyomaka, Saturday, March 19th, Eagles on number 11 and number 16. Two Eagles in the same round to round things out for us today. That'll do it for this week's shots. We look forward to seeing more next week. Thank you guys so much. Back to you guys, poolside. Thank you very much, Patrick. We appreciate it. Awesome shots again this week, Kim. Those are some awesome shots. (laughs) Well done. Um, Arnaldo, thank you very much once again for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. And uh, I guess, Kim, we'll see everybody around the mountain. See you around the mountain, members. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.